Titanfall 2 is a first-person shooter and official follow-up to the Titanfall that was released in 2014. The game was released on Origin on the 28th of October 2016 and features both a single-player campaign and online multiplayer, and is also available on PC, Xbox One and PlayStation 4. I played a little bit of the first Titanfall and thought it was a decent amount of fun, so let's jump in and see if the second one is even better. So this is Titanfall 2, the game came out today, quick look at the options menu, we're going to be playing playing on insane graphics on my 980 Ti. The game doesn't have windowed borderless mode built in, which kind of sucks, so I'm having to use an external program for that. But what we're going to do is start off with the campaign, then check out the multiplayer. So this is going to be our little tutorial, I guess. Slide. Something I've always liked about the Titanfall games is the movement. It feels very fluid for an FPS. So this is a little tutorial test thing, apparently. Wall run, jump, kill this guy midair. There it is. There's the finish line. Today is not the day I become a pilot. Can I please get out? I feel claustrophobic in here. Right, so I've crash landed. The guns sound glorious. I think it's the end of the day for our friend. Oh god, we're being eaten by aliens. Well, it's not going very well, is it? They're gonna fight over me apparently. In terms of visuals, it's uh, it's certainly not Battlefield One. But it does look okay. I think he's gonna die and give me his titan, isn't he? Yeah, I was right. At least we made a grave for him. That's nice. But secretly, my person's really happy because he can finally become a pilot. Search for power sources, right. Dog's coming at me. He's coming in hot. Woof, woof, bitch. Oh, there's another one. Pilot helmet collected. So you can collect pilot helmets. Nice reflections in the puddles. Very nice reflections indeed. I wonder if we can do a stealth kill. Oh, nice! Get stealth killed! Wow. My character can punch hard, can't he? Right, we've got a zip line here. We obviously need to use that. We can shoot and zip line at the same time. I like it. I'm just gonna snipe all these guys right in the head. This gun is really satisfying. It feels very accurate. The gunplay does feel really nice in this game. I'm enjoying it so far. We're killing a mixture of robots. Space aliens. We're having a great time, aren't we? Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Get quick scoped. We're going for a lot of shit just to get a power source. And that's going to power my Titan. One. Oh, nice miss. Not Nice miss. The Call of Duty Doritos kids wouldn't be happy with me, would they? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There it is. Right, we need another battery. Apparently, Titans require a lot of energy to use. Oh, shit. Let's uh, throw a grenade at those guys. Right. You really can't take much damage before you die in this game. Glad I'm not a complete fucking bullet sponge. There's the next battery. Now I can finally pilot my fucking Titan, hopefully. The movement in this game is just glorious. Run along the wall. Double jump. Run along this wall, double jump. You can basically fly in this game. It should be good to go now. These Titans are damn OP, dude. Burst core online, what does this do? Oh, that's what it does. It fucks things up. For some reason, I don't really feel as I'm very good at driving a Titan. I'm doing all right, I suppose. Right, maybe I can burst core this guy down. Yep. Yep. That is certainly a thing I can do. And it just almost wiped out two Titans in a matter of seconds. You know, the thing I really like about Titanfall, which I wasn't really expecting the first time I ever played one of these games, is that the Titan controls feel really good. And they fucking should. A game about being a big badass Titan. So many times games really miss the mark when it comes to vehicle warfare. I wouldn't really say that's the case with this game. Right, here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's cool. Punch all of them. Punches for days. <laughs> He's not very smart, is he? The AI is uh, certainly quite retarded. I don't really think there's any debating that at this point. I'm just going to punch them both off. You and you. Sorry, boys. Today's not your day. Now where to? You are right. You just got shot in the balls. The thing I really like about Titanfall in comparison to other modern military shooters is that there's a lot of context 
when it comes to why your character can just take on armies and legions of men. Because that's what the pilots are supposed to do. I like how I can essentially be a one-man army, but not have to suspend my disbelief too much. I can still be immersed in the game. Look what happens when I shoot one of these guys. They just burst into blood and guts. Oh, okay, we've got robot spiders that are just going to explode around me, right? We're going to leave those things alone. There's not really many things cooler in a game than sliding along the floor and taking people out. It's honestly just so much fun. There's something about the gunplay in this game that I can't really put my finger on that just feels really responsive and accurate. We've got a boss fight, Kane. I've got my ultimate. This guy can't really do much. Okay. Nice, I don't blow him up in two seconds, that's good. Rest in peace, Kane, you had a good run. And that's the first boss down. He wasn't very hard, but then again, I am playing on normal. He wasn't a complete face roll, you kill him in 10 seconds fight at least. Which I appreciate. We can run and slide. Let's see how far we can slide. Still sliding. Come on, come on, come on. Still sliding. Never stop sliding. <laughs> I'm going to call it a day for the single player campaign from what I've played of it so far. Pretty decent. It's a fairly linear on rails experience. Kind of what you'd expect from a modern military shooter, but it's enjoyable. I'm still having fun with it. At least there's context to what you're doing and it's done a really good job of getting me invested into the story to a certain extent. Upon joining the multiplayer mode, you're in this room with a bunch of people on their microphones. No one's talking though, it feels super awkward. Right, okay, nice. So the sniper kills people in one hit. Nice. Let's do hard point, this is essentially domination. Get the titan dude! Get in! Nice, right, we've got our titan, thank fuck for that. Titan number two is toast. Take out the enemies, right, now we're doing some work. Oh my god, the Titan ulti is so powerful. Beautiful! Nice, got him. It really doesn't take much to bring people down in this game. Let's do pilots versus pilots. This mode has no Titanfall, so if you don't like the overpowered Titans and you just want pure gunplay, then pilots versus pilots is for you. I got him. Another one. We're going to flank around the back. I'm going to be a sneaky beaver. I'm going to be the sneakiest of beavers. There it is. There's the double kill. Get flanked, boys. Running. There's another double. Can I run around the map here? No, you can't do that. Okay, I, f I thought I could get a shortcut. I'm sorry, game. I'm sorry. Bollocks. When it comes to the gunplay, Titanfall's a game that's very much about who gets the first shot. It's very similar to Call of Duty in that regard. Personally, I think Titanfall 2 is a lot more fun than Call of Duty, though. Beautiful. That was glorious. We killed him whilst running on the wall. That's what it's all about. There's the win. Intercept escaping enemies, right? So that's the thing you do at the end of the game, is it? So the enemies need to escape in a helicopter at the end. So Titanfall 2 certainly has a very Call of Duty-like progression system when it comes to perks, choosing a loadout and all of that good stuff, both for your pilot and for the Titans. There's quite a lot of different game types in this. There's Bounty Hunt, Amped Hardpoint, Last Titan Standing, Free For All, Attribution, Capture the Flag, Pilots vs. Pilots, Coliseum, which requires Coliseum tickets or paid entry fee. Not too sure what it means by that. You've got Standard Variety, 8 vs. 8 Variety, and Private Match Beta. So Last Titan Standing is essentially 4 vs. 4. Obviously, you start in Titans, and it's the Last Titan Standing wins that round for your team. Die, dude! Got him. Oh, no. We got blown up. Get out, get out, dude. Eject! Oh, my God, that was so close. Half time. Okay, so you switch sides, apparently. Titan vs. Titan mode is kind of weird. It's essentially just a big standoff. Two teams of Titans just kind of shooting each other from... 
across one end of the map. It's not too bad, but Titan vs Titan mode certainly isn't my kind of thing. 8 vs 8 variety. You can actually get different skins for your character. Of course you can. Weapon skins, obviously. Five pages of the bloody things. It's actually taking a really long time for me to find games, and I'm not too sure why. It's been that way with quite a few different playlists that I've tried. It's taken a lot longer than one would expect for launch day to find a game. I've been searching for a game of 8 vs 8 variety for about 10 minutes at this point, and it doesn't look like I'm going to find a game. Which kind of sucks. I suppose it might have something to do with 8 vs 8 variety being hidden behind this arrow here. It's not very obvious on the UI. Nice, there's the level up. That's level 4. They are all here. I'm gonna go in John Rambo style. Here we go. One. Nice kill. I don't really feel as though I'm a big fan of the intercept escaping enemies thing at the end. Just kind of makes it longer before you can get into your next game, if anything. Shoot while sprinting. Oh my god, that's gonna be good. Nice kill. Getting some questionable game performance here, that's for sure. Nice. There's the flank. There's the double kill. We're going to run. Well played. Nice play. Now we're going to sprint through here, right across the map, where they've all probably seen me. That's right, they've all seen me. But that doesn't even matter, because I'm a pro. Yeah, you know there's a serious problem on your team when I've got the most kills. I think you kill people with less bullets in this game than what it takes to kill people in CSGO or Call of Duty. One more game. I've been saying that for about half an hour. One more game. I think I got quick scopes, didn't I? There we go. MLG. Mountain Dew and Doritos. All of that stuff. It's unbelievable the range these SMGs can be effective at. Dodging for days. Oh my god, what is this climbing? Fun game, I need to stop saying one more game at this point now, I think. Wow. I think I'm gonna have to call it a day at this point. I can't keep saying one more game, can I? So after playing Titanfall 2 for a few hours, I'm now going to give you my early thoughts on the game so far. When it comes to the single player campaign in Titanfall 2, from what I've seen so far, I was quite impressed. Personally, I've only played a few bits and pieces of missions from the original Titanfall game, so I'm not really too invested in the story and I don't really know much about it. However, with Titanfall 2, I don't really feel as though that matters. Right from the outset, the game does a really good job of introducing the main character to you, Jack Cooper, a rifleman who has aspirations of being a pilot and driving his own Titan. I like how Titanfall 2 starts out because initially the main protagonist isn't anyone special, yet in a very short period of time we follow him through training to eventually getting his own Titan and becoming a pilot. He basically goes from being a standard soldier to a complete badass extremely quickly. But within the context of the story, I felt as though this worked decently well. When it comes to the gameplay of the campaign, from what I've played of it so far, I have enjoyed it quite a bit. There's a nice mix of parkour, running and jumping on wall missions, basically to get to a certain destination, a nice amount of titan fighting missions, as well as just your regular gunplay missions, all of which so far have been completely linear, yet the story's goal is always in the back of your mind. I think the main complaint I have about the Titanfall 2 campaign so far is the enemy AI does seem to be quite retarded, although I suppose it can kind of make sense as you're playing a badass pilot basically has enhanced abilities and stuff, you're supposed to kind of shred through them, I guess. I suppose in a way, the dumb enemy militia work well as a contrast to elevate just how much more powerful the pilots are in comparison. When it comes to visuals and graphical fidelity, Titanfall 2 doesn't look too bad, it looks quite good. However, off the back of playing something like Battlefield 1, I can certainly say it doesn't look anywhere near as good as a game like that, for example. The graphics in Titanfall 2 are probably where you'd expect them to be for a AAA game in 2016. There wasn't a whole lot of moments where I was blown away or anything, but at the same time I didn't have any complaints. I'd say the graphics are good, 
but nothing special. When it comes to the online multiplayer in Titanfall 2, at times I found it to be extremely fast paced, hectic, fun, and quite hard to actually get used to as a new player. I suppose we should start by mentioning that Titanfall 2 initially launches with 9 multiplayer maps, which I feel as though is quite a good number. And not only that, when it comes to DLC, EA have already confirmed that all future map DLC will be free, which is fantastic. Titanfall 2 also launches with 8 unique game types, which I think is a really nice number. There's certainly something for everyone there. There's even pilots vs pilot mode if you don't really like messing around with the Titans or anything. One complaint I do have when it comes to the game modes though, is with the UI in which those game modes are presented as there's an arrow which shows the two variety playlists both normal variety and 8 vs 8 variety however no one ever queues in those playlists because the UI is very unintuitive it would be better in my opinion if it was all displayed on one page something I did find really strange in Titanfall 2 is how using short range weapons such as a shotgun or an SMG at long range is rather effective surprisingly effective Usually you'd expect those weapons to have quite a lot of damage fall off at long range, but that doesn't really seem to be the case with this game. For example, I could kill someone very effectively with my SMG from across the map as long as I was hitting the shots, and I don't really know if that makes a whole lot of sense. As fun as the gunplay is in this game, there's just something about it which doesn't feel right, and I think it has a lot to do with how easy it is to bring people down regardless of the range or what weapon you're using. I think when it comes to Titanfall 2's online multiplayer, the biggest compliment I can really give it is just how well the game gives you that one more game feeling and I think it has a lot to do with how in every single game you have the opportunity to do something really fucking cool whether it be running along the wall taking out the entire team doing something crazy with your titan at the end of a game I never feel entirely satisfied and therefore want to queue up for another one because there's always more that I could have done there's just something about Titanfall 2 that really makes me crazy going for those big epic awesome plays and I feel like the fluid movement fun gunplay as well as the variety of ways you can actually kill someone has a lot to do with that but overall I've really enjoyed what I've played of Titanfall 2 so far the campaign seems solid the gameplay is really fun the online multiplayer has a lot of maps and game types as well as that one more game feeling visually the game looks really good and you're always left craving that next epic moment so that's it for this video guys Guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on Titanfall 2 in the comments below if you've had the chance to play it yet or just based on this video. And for those of you that are new to the channel, my goal on YouTube is basically to help you discover quality new games and avoid the bad ones whilst not wasting a whole lot of your time in the process. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, you take it easy and I'll see you again really soon.